With Memorial Day just a couple of days away, the grilling season is officially upon us. And when we cook out, you know, one of the best secrets is to use high quality meats. And here to explain why is Brandon Miller, the regional marketing manager for Man Cave Meats. Good morning, Brandon. Thank, Thank you so much you. for Kenny. joining us. So why do we need to pay attention to the quality of the meat we use? It sounds simple. It does. It does. Uh, well, for the same reason, you want to pay attention to the quality of the beer you drink. Um, we, we're trying to be the craft beer of the meat department. Okay. So what that means is uh, you can, you know, throw, take some brats and throw them on the grill and wait for them to burst and, you know, throw them on a bun. Okay. Or you can, you know, really care about it and, you know, put something that you want to eat on the bun. So, I mean, we want to be more like a Sam Adams as opposed to like a, a light brown water. Okay, yes, because we don't want to mention anyone by name. Uh, but, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. But how, what makes you guys different? What makes you the craft uh component of the meat department? Well, a, lot of, a lot of it is the, the process that we use. I mean, we're, we're constantly tweaking things. We're constantly doing research and development. We're constantly, we eat so much around the office. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm you working work a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, well, no bread. Typically, oh, it's ah, like, okay. so yesterday at the office, I think there were like 15 different kinds of bacon burgers being tried. That's what we had for lunch. You guys <laughs> you, a yeah, right? or a host, you know, hang out around the uh, hang out around the office. Well, what it does though, it, it does, that's you definitely um, experiment with uh, some recipes and whatnot. So, uh, what are you making here today? So this actually is our, our Angus beef patty. So it's half bacon, half beef actually. Oh, we, half bacon. Yeah. Wow. So we ground it together, so not like bacon bits in there. So mm -hmm. it's legitimate bacon. That is part of the what makes it a little more craft as opposed to. No, right, so the alternative. flavoring or yeah. some sort of sort of halfway measure. So what exactly. what does the bacon do to the flavor? How does it change the flavor? Oh, it, 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 it intensifies it. It makes it full. I mean, the same reason you would get a bacon cheeseburger at a restaurant. I mean, it has that, that, that nice, just smoky flavor a lot of times. But what we did with this one, um, I turned it into a breakfast burger, and I put uh, Colby Jack on there. I put a fried egg, and the secret is actually peanut butter as well. Peanut butter. So, absolutely. So I know you're trying a lot of different things on the show today, but this is okay. something I I'm think is, is one of my favorite. Um, you want to give it a shot? Sure. Which one? Perfect. Just Any of them. There. Okay, yeah. I'll just do the one you you uh, you just made. Um, now, tell us a little bit about uh, Man Cave Meats. Where are you guys based? How'd you guys get? Well, started? we're actually based out of uh, Minneapolis. We got our start in the farmers market up there. Um, so I mean, we were. Just slanging brats and burgers in the farmers market, and you know, a grocery store approached us and asked if asked if we were in stores, and we said no, and uh, we figured it out. And now uh, we've got we just recently, uh, within the past month, got into Kroger stores around the there on the area. Congratulations! So, thank you. So it it is interesting with the taste of the um, the peanut butter. Of the peanut butter is not something I would have tried, but it is, it does give it a different taste and a different texture. It, yeah, definitely it does. A little a little more salty with a little bit of sweetness to it, right? Yeah. You guys have um, burgers. What else do you guys carry? Well, uh, so this is, the, this is the turkey patty, actually, and it's, we, we, we loaded it with cheddar cheese and jalapenos, but it's not like the, just the frozen, just chopped up. I mean, these are actually fresh chopped jalapenos, mm -hmm. so it retains a lot of moisture. With turkey burgers, a lot of times, if they're dry, right. you know, season them with these. You just throw them on the grill or in the skillet, and you're good to and go. And they're good. And you guys, what are these? Oh, so this over here, honestly, this, this is the reason we're a company, I believe. The buffalo wing with blue cheese brat. Okay. Um, so another part what makes us craft is we actually use pork shoulder in here. A okay. lot of times brats are made with kind of like the scraps and leftovers mm -hmm. from, we use, you know, muscle. So it's going to be a lot more lean and really flavorful. It's infused with actual chunks of blue cheese, Frank's okay. Red Hot, and butter. So, yeah. uh, Brendan, thank you so much for, thank you. Uh, for joining us. Man Cave Meats, you can find them in local stores now. Yeah, Kroger. Kroger, yeah. And uh, when we come back, I'll let you know how this uh, brat tastes because I'm going to try this one too.